Hi everyone, it's Thursday and this is our very first Juicy Grammar with Stephen. And today's title is, Why Not Black Sheeps and Small Mouses? We're going to take a look at how you make the plural of nouns in English today. For example, if we take a word such as the word cat, to make more than one, we simply add s. So one cat, many cats. Take a word like watch. If it ends in a ch or a sh sound, we add yes. One watch, many watches. One church, many churches. Another way of making the, the plural is if you take the word, for example, the word knife. The last sound is a f sound. So, we knock off the F and the E and add V-E-S. One knife, two knives. Another way of doing it, making the plural form, is if you have a word like the word, like the word city. The city ends with a Y. And the vowel, the, word, the, the sound that comes before is a consonant. So... You knock off the Y and add I-E-S. Cities. However, take a word like monkey. It also ends in a Y. But the sound that comes before is a vowel sound. So you just simply add the S. Now, there's another group of nouns which, as you can see from the title today, they're called irregular nouns. And the reason why they're irregular is not just because they're so, it's because there's a historical background to it all. Take the word sheeps, or more correctly, sheep. It's because in Old English, people used to say one, sheep, and many, sheep. Hence the word sheep and sheeps today. Another example, they used to say deor, for one deer or one animal, and many deer. Hence, we say deer and deer today. How about mouses? No. In Old English, you said moose and meese. And that became, in modern English, mouse and mice. Let's take another one. Toth and teeth became tooth and teeth. Or about this one? Gorse and gaes became goose and geese. Two or three more. One man, many men. The same in modern English today still. What about the one like child and children? Well, that can have its background like this. One, chi one child, many children. As you can see, it's quite similar to in modern English still. And one ox, many oxen. Well, that's again because of Old English. One oxa, many oxam. And you can see how it, the pattern's there. So there are many ways in which to create a plural in English. Just to finish off, here are the black sheeps, but here are two black sheep. And here is a picture of two black mouses, but here's another picture of two black mice. Okay, folks, that's all for today. See you next Thursday. Bye.